All right, I'm going to do a season prediction for Oklahoma football. Um, I have expectations. I have high expectations for this team because you Lincoln Riley's gone. Everyone was going to be like, oh, Oklahoma's going to suffer this and that. You realize Oklahoma is one of the best programs in the country, one of the biggest brands in the country. Oklahoma football is, in my opinion, they're just fine. The Sooners are going to be fine. In my opinion, they're going to be fine. Um, and their schedule is really, really, really easy. It's so easy. It's so laughable. Um, first up, Oklahoma opens up at home against UTEP. Um, I'm going to make this simple. This is going to be the first game of the Brent Venables era. Um, as you know, Brent Venables is the new head coach of Oklahoma football. Home run higher for Oklahoma. Um, Sooners are going to be just fine with him, especially now. They are going to be SEC members, and with the craziness in college football, Oklahoma football will be fine. Um, this is a no-brainer. Um, UTEP is horrible. Oklahoma should just run over them. He's actually just kidding. UTEP by twenty. I'm just kidding, obviously. But um, Oklahoma. The Sooners are going to be just fine. Dylan Gabriel at quarterback. Um, their defense is really good, but now that Venables is there, um, yeah, Oklahoma is actually going to have a defense under Venables. Um, they should run away. Um, a fifty-nine to nothing win over UTEP. Week two against Kent State. Um, should be easy. Um, Oklahoma dominates them, seventy to nothing. Then they play Nebraska. Okay, y'all are going to be like, well, Nebraska almost beat y'all at OU. Now it's at Norman. Now it's in Nebraska. People realize that Lincoln Riley was tanking because he knew he was going to leave Oklahoma to go to Southern California. He knew he was going to go to USC. And he did go to USC. And <clears throat> now that Venables is a coach, the whole throwing, trying to throw games thing ain't going to happen. The soft culture, not going to happen. Oklahoma's culture is going to be much, much different. Oh, Oklahoma road grails them. That was Nebraska. Nebraska's horrible. 48-17. to 17. Moving on, K-State. Um, everyone's like, K-State's good. No, they're not. K-State is probably the third worst team in the Big 12 just barely ahead of Texas Tech in Kansas. Actually, they're way ahead of Kansas, but they're barely ahead of Texas Tech. K-State is going to be awful. Oklahoma wins big. And this game is in Norman, too. So Oklahoma dominates them 50-17. to 17. Moving on, TCU. Um, TCU, not a good football team. It's safe to say they're not a good football team, and Oklahoma should just easily win this game. Um, No-brainer. 48-17. Texas, oh boy, Red River Rivalry, these are always fun. I'm probably going to stream this game. Actually, no, Alabama a and that week, so I'm not streaming that game. Um, Oklahoma, Texas, um, this is a toss-up. It's Red River. Nobody knows what's going to happen, and it's a battle of two future SEC members because Oklahoma and Texas – by like 2025, are going to be leaving the Big 12 to go join the SEC. I'll come back to that game. Home against Kansas. Do we even need to talk about that? <laughs> Do we even need to talk about that? This isn't basketball. Oklahoma easily wins that game. Moving on, Iowa State on the road. Now, I know someone who goes, who's going to be going to Iowa State for academics. Um, Iowa State football. Not going to be good. They suck. Um, Oklahoma should run over them. And they lost Brees Hall and Brock Purdy. Next up, Baylor. Okay, now, Baylor is my pick to win the Big 12 this year. Because they're the most complete team in college football, in the Big 12. Their defense is 
the be- they have the best defense of the Big Twelve. Their offense is really good. Baylor will be. Baylor's going to be a good football team. Really good football team, actually. Like Baylor, I'm really high on. Even though I really do not like Baylor. The, the game is in Norman. It's in Norman, Oklahoma. That's why I'm picking Baylor to... That's why I'm picking Oklahoma to beat Baylor in the regular season. When it counts for the champ, for conference championship, I don't think that will be the case. But I think Oklahoma's going to win this game. Because it's at Oklahoma. And Baylor's bringing in a new defense, but it's still pretty good. Dave Aran is a good coach. I like what he's been doing. Next up, West Virginia. Um, West Virginia sucks. Oklahoma easily wins. I don't know why people are hyping up West Virginia. I'm looking at you, Hokey, for life. Um, JT Daniels is not good. West Virginia's defense sucks. And that's that. Moving on, Bedlam. Um, Bedlam is mayhem, but... Oklahoma's going to get revenge. It's in Norman. Um, Oklahoma State lost a lot. Jim Knowles is gone. Most of their defense is gone. Um, Spencer Sanders is not good. I'm not sold on Spencer Sanders. Yeah, moving on. um, The Texas Tech game. It depends on the time. If it's at night, I'd be scared because the game is always a scare. Now, Oklahoma will win this game. Because Texas Tech is god awful, they're in my opinion the second worst team in the Big Twelve, just barely ahead of Kansas. Um, Texas Tech and Kansas are so bad that they're equal. they're so bad. Texas Tech is god awful. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wins, one toss up Texas. I think they win, so uh, I have you at 12-0. Now, Bama and Oklahoma are the only 12-0 teams right now. But I have Oklahoma taking an L in the Big 12 championship game because Baylor, because like I said earlier, I think Baylor wins the Big 12, but I think Oklahoma beats them in the regular season. Um, I'll see y'all. Um, for my, I haven't done my AFC predictions yet. I will do them later. Um, I haven't had the time to do them because of the craziness that is the NBA offseason. And, of course, talking about college football relocation. I'll be back. I'll see you all next time. I'm gone.